Welcome. This is my instructional video for section 9.3 in the Math 1 book, Histograms and Box Plots. So a histogram is a bar graph that displays frequency. Okay, now here's the thing. It's not for individual items. It's usually built into intervals, and intervals have to be equal. Okay, so the bars should be of equal width. So notice here these guys in the example, 60 to 69, so that's 10 items. 70 to 79, that's 10 items. 80 to 89, that's the width of 10 items. 90 to 99 is the width of 10. They're all equal intervals. And then the heights of the bars represent the frequency of the data values in that interval. So which axis indicates frequency? That's the vertical axis. What does the horizontal axis indicate? It shows the test scores. And they're broken into intervals, right? So, for example, the first interval is any score from 60 to 69. And then the last interval is any score from 90 to 99. How is the or horizontal axis organized? In groups of 10. Because 69 down to 59, right? Including the 60, so 60, that's 0. Plus 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 10 items. So that's a width of 10. This guy's a width of 10. This guy's a width of 10. This guy's a width of 10. They're all widths of 10. So they're equal, equal interval widths. How many had scores in the 60 to 69? Okay. So 60 to 69, that goes halfway between 2 and 4, so that's going to be 3. How many were in the 70 to 79 interval? That's halfway between 10 and 8. So that means this position here is 9. And how many scores were 80 to 89? So right at 12. And then how many scores were in the 90 to 99 interval? Notice we're between 8 and 6, so that's at, looks like, 7. There you go. Bam, how hard was that? I think it's pretty straightforward. Okay, create a frequency table from the data, and then use the table to create a histogram, cal calculate the median, the IQR, any outliers. Okay, here are scores from a golf tournament. So, let me go back here. So for the histogram, let's clean all this stuff up. It's like, how are you going to do the median? Well, here's how I'm going to do the median. It's like there's three values here. Looks like there's nine there. Looks like 12 here. And then there's going to be seven here. So three and seven is 10. Plus 12 is 22. Plus nine is 31. So that's 31 values. And so we're going to take uh, add one, divide by two. So 32 divided by 2, that's going to give me 16. So the 16th value is the middle one. So 3 and 9 is 12, so that puts the 16th value somewhere in this bar here, in that neighborhood. So how are we going to find the median and the mean and the mode, and, or the, the uh, quartiles, Q1 and Q3, and then the interquartile range? When we have the data over a range like this, this is good for giving me a big picture of the data. It's not very good for finding specific things like the median and the interquartile range and Q, Q1 and Q3, which we need to find the interquartile range, and to determine outliers, etc. Okay, so this just gives me a picture that, that says, hey, it looks like the data is skewed a little bit to the right, and there's some, not, not outliers, but the more extreme values are on the left. They're the low ones. Okay, so that's the value of a histogram. So we're not going to do a histogram to determine these things right here. Nope, nope, nope. So first I arrange the data. So I've already arranged the data from least to greatest. So notice there's one, two, three, four, five points there. One, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five there. And one more. So three times five is 15 plus the one more is 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, plus one more is 16. It looks like I've got all the data points represented here. And then with 16 data points, so 16 plus 1, we're going to divide that by 2. So the 16 divided by 2 is 8, plus the 1 divided by 2 is the 1 half. So it's going to be the, in between the 8th and 9th value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
So there's halfway between. That's going to be Q2. Uh, so this is Q2, which is the median. And that means there's eight guys below and eight guys above. So half of eight is going to be four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the middle is going to fall right between the fourth and fifth value. Now you could do the n plus one thing. So n here for just the lower half of the data set, n is eight. So eight plus one over two. So eight, eight divided by two is four. And then plus the one is four and a half. So that means it's going to be in between the fourth and fifth item. One, two, three, four, five. There's in between. One, two, three, four, five. There's in between four and five right there. So this is going to be Q1. And then the same thing over here because this is the same because this is the middle. So there's the same number of items on this side, which is eight. So in between four and five. One, two, three, four, five. So in between is here. One, two, three, four, five. In between is here. So that's 76. That works out really nice. Okay, so here's our interquartile range. Our interquartile range is from 76 to 1, so that's going to be 5. So we're going to look for half of that. I'm sorry, one and a half of that. So 1 times 5 is 5, and then half of 5 is 2.5. So that means 1 and a half of 5 is 5 plus 2.5, which is 7 and a half. And notice the distance from 78 down to 76 is just 2. That's well within 7.5. And, and from 71 down to 68, that's just the distance of 3. So that says, hey, there are no outliers. So the median is 74. The interquartile range is from 76 minus 71. That's 5. And the outliers is none. Ain't got none. Or English for there are not any. Okay, there we go. Same thing here when we we're talking about heights of players and in inches on a basketball team. We're going to calculate the same things the median, the IQR, and any outliers. So I've got one, two, three, four, five data points here. One, two, three, four, five data points there. Two, three, four, five there. Exactly three times five is 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exactly 15. So I think I have the data replicated. So we take the 15 plus 1, divide it by 2. So that's going to be 6 and over 2, which is 8. So the middle guy is the 8th one from either end. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 73 is the middle. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on either end, right? So 7 plus 1 divided by 2. So that's 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So the fourth one from either end of the lower half. And the same for the, for the upper half. 1, 2, 3, 4. From the other side of that, that, that middle, 1, 2, 3, 4. For this guy here, 1, 2, 3, 4 in from the middle, and 4 from the end, 1, 2, 3, 4. So Q1, Q2, also known as the median, and then Q3. And the distance from Q1 to Q3, the interquartile range from 68 to 74, that's 6. So the interquartile range is 6, so 1.5 times 6, of course, because 1 times 6 is 6. Half of 6 is 3. That makes 9. So notice from the top of the set down to the Q3 is only 5 units. That's well within uh, 9, so 79 is not an outlier. And then from 63 up to 68, that's 5 units. So that says, hey, that's well within 9, so 63 is certainly not an outlier. Okay. And notice here on each end of the set, it's a spread of 5. On both ends, so that's 10 total, and in the middle is just 6. So this dead is kind of clustered in the middle, and it spreads out more on the ends, because it's 10 on the ends, 6 in the middle. So it says it's kind of spread out a little bit. Measure of spread, or variability. Okay, now, <clears throat> estimate the mean. So the key word here is estimate the mean of the data in the histogram. We'll never know exactly, because... 
for all these guys in the 20 to 29 interval, what are they? Are they 20? Are they 22, 23, 27, 29? They can be any of those. There's just 20 of them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to estimate some number because we're estimating. We're just trying to get an idea quickly and in the neighborhood. So in the middle of 20 to 29, it's going to be about 25. That's going to be a nice round number. It's actually like 24 and a half, but I don't want to play with the decimal because I'm just estimating. So we're going to say the middle here is 25. The middle here is 35. The middle here is 45. The middle here is uh, 55. And the middle of this interval is 65. So we have 20 times 25. So that's going to be 2 times 50. So that's going to be 500. We're going to have 25 times 35. All right, lots of scratch work. I'm digging this. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 3, 15. 2 is 17. 2 times 35 is 70 after I moved over space. So that's going to be 875. And then 45 times this bar, which is 30. So 3 times 45 is ding, 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 135 at the 0. So that's 1350. And then 55 goes 15 times. Okay, so 15 times 55. So 5 times 55, 5 times 5 is 25. We're going to carry the deuce. 5 times 25 is... Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, added to the 2 is 27, and then 10 times 55, we're going to move over spot first, uh, 1 times 55, 55. So that looks like we're going to have a 5, a 12, carry the 1, 8, 25. And then 65, we're going to go 10 times. I'm digging 10, that's going to be 650. All right, here's my trick for doing this. It's like, hey, 75 and 25 is 100, 50 and 50 is 100, so that means 200 total. So there's my double zero, carry the two in the hundreds column. So let me change colors here so this is more obvious. So 8 and 2 is 10 by itself, right? And then 8 and 6 is 14, plus 3 is 17, so that's going to make 17 right there. And then the only thing I'm missing is the 5. So let's go 10 and 5 is 15, so 15 and 17 is 32. So there's a 2, we're going to carry the 3 in the thousands column, so 3 plus 1 is 4. So we've got 4,200. Now here's the one thing I didn't do, I didn't add up all the totals, i got to do that now. So the total items, right, total frequencies, 20 in the first one, plus... Um, 25 in the second one, I, one I mean interval, and 30 in the next interval, and then we have 15 in the next interval, and 10 in the last interval. So 5 and 5 is 10, we're going to carry the 1 there, so 1, 2 is 3, and 2 more is 5, and 3 more is 8, plus 2 more is 10. So there's 100 items. So 4,200 divided by 100, that's easy. Because double zero means that's a multiple of 100. That's 42 times 100. And we're dividing by 100. Technically, 1 times 100. So the 100s cancel. 42 over 1 is 42. And then when you look at the, the set here, it goes like this. So it's skewed a little bit this way. So we would say, uh... Now, again, this is an estimate. All that work was just for a freaking estimate. We'll never know what the exact mean is because we don't have enough specific data to, to figure out what the actual mean is. But we're going to estimate 42, which is a little bit lower than this. Well, it's skewed this way. So that means in the lower end of this interval is totally reasonable. How about if I write that in a legible fashion? There, 42, final answer. Okay, that was fun. Just totally dug that. That was sarcasm, in case you didn't pick up on that. But <clears throat> there you go. All that work for just an estimate. So that's the material from this section of the book. Uh, if you have questions, you should probably come talk to me for tutoring sometime. Other than that, ciao, baby.